Well, hello friends and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're looking at one of the classic of classics, the Macallan 12. And today's version is the double cask. Let's break this bad boy open. Now, the Macallan is a classic Speyside distillery in Scotland. Very famously, they have some of their whiskies have sold at auction for enormous prices. I think, off the top of my head, I believe they have the, for the most expensive three to five whiskies that have ever sold at auction before. Hundreds of thousands of dollars for a bottle of whiskey. Yet, they're also responsible for one of the most accessible entry-level scotches you can get your hands on, and that is the Macallan 12. It's a Speyside whiskey, but it's a little bit confusing because if you look at it, it'll say it's a Highland single malt scotch whiskey, but they're actually from Speyside. Don't get confused. The Macallan is so accessible and such a good place to start developing your palate for scotch. That's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna get this bad boy on the nose, but before we do, you know what I'm gonna ask, right? If you don't mind, just hit thumbs up on this video. Helps us out in the algorithm, doesn't cost you a thing. You also might consider subscribing if it's your first time here. I do understand that there is a developing body of scientific evidence that suggests that one becomes more attractive to the opposite sex by subscribing. And let's face it, this is your mom's favorite YouTube channel. So, do me a favor. All right, enough playing around. Thanks so much. Let's get in this thing. Let's get this on the nose. Not super complicated. And like I mentioned before, very accessible. Dried fruit, like apricot. You've got some honey. Very mild nuttiness. Malt stands out. You have maybe just a touch of brown sugar. You get a little of the wood. Now on this one, the double cask does not mean two different types of cask treatment. What it means is two different types of wood. So they use an American oak and they use a European oak. However, both are sherry treated. So it's a common misconception with this one that one is sherry treated and another is bourbon treated. It's actually not true. Both sherry treated, different types of oak. You do get a little bit of that for sure. Not a whole lot of smoke, not too much char. Dried fruit is definitely the star of this nose. All right. All righty friends, that's enough preamble. Let's get into it, shall we? Get our first taste of the Macallan 12. One more nose. Yeah, beautiful. All right, Slan Javad. Little bit of tannin. That dried fruit really comes out. Apricot. There's a rush, interestingly enough. The honey that you get on the nose changes to like a Honey Nut Cheerios. That flavor you get when you eat that breakfast cereal. Still Swedish, sweet-ish, not Swedish, sweet-ish, but not super complex. I've got dried fruit, it's not very floral. I've got Honey Nut Cheerios for sure, little vanilla, little bit of brown sugar. You get a touch of the oak on the finish. Hmm. This is not the Scotch equivalent of War and Peace. This is a straightforward, enjoyable book to read on the beach. That is what this is in drink form. You're not gonna need complex tasting notes and all that other kind of stuff. It's just nice, warm, inviting, slightly sweet. Nothing stands out as 
aggressive in any of the flavor profiles. It's very well balanced. It is a very nice drink. I would not call this Slap Your Mama good, which is the only rating system we use, and it's the only rating system that matters. I wouldn't call it Slap Your Mama good, but it is an excellent entry-level scotch as you're trying to develop your palate. It's sweeter, not super complex, and you can pull out some of these flavors in the nose and on the palate. Will help to start, will help you down the road as you get into more complex scotches. It's also an excellent single malt to use in your cocktails. If there are scotch cocktails that you're interested in making, you have to make that decision, what am I gonna do? I reach for one of two things, the Macallan or Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker Black, typically, is one of my favorite mixers. This is a great one in a rusty nail, which I have an upcoming video, I'll show you how to make. This is not something that is going to impress your friends, but it's just damn good. It's a damn fine drink. It's not slap your mama good, but it's enjoyable. That's it for today, guys. Short video. Please go enjoy the Macallan 12, especially if you're curious, how do I break into this scotch thing? How do I, how do I get involved in the scotch whiskey side of the whiskey world? This is a good entry level place. Another one that I've mentioned in the past is the classic Lottie from Brook Lottie. You might enjoy that one as well, uh, but this is a, a, a wonderful place to start. Until next time, uh, oh, special shout out to my youngest brother. Just received his master's in physics in the mail. Patrick, proud of you. Love you, buddy. Until next time, to good friends and good spirits. We'll see you on the next one.